I thought it was the beginning of another boring day, but it all went against my expectation. I'm Shizuku Sasaki. I'll be studying with you guys from today. Nice to meet you. A beautiful girl came to our class. She greeted us in a calm tone, but she was a blonde girl in a miniskirt. The boys in the class was all over her. Now, Shizuku-san, your seat will be that one by the window. Okay. You're so pretty. Do you have a boyfriend? Shizuku-san started walking towards the empty seats, which is a seat next to me. The boys were catcalling her all the way through, but Shizuku-san didn't even flinch. She's beautiful, but she doesn't look very friendly. That was my impression of her. But since she sat next to me, I thought I'd try to talk to her. I'm Ren Oshima, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She replied, but she didn't even look at me. I was right, right. She's, she's very, very unfriendly. unfriendly. Hey Ren, don't talk to her. An introvert like you shouldn't be talking to a beauty like Shizuku-san. Yeah, see? Shizuku-san is angry that a peasant like you tried to talk to her. Oh, oh I, I see. see. That made so much sense. I'll just, I'll just be, be nobody, nobody as, as usual, usual then. then, I thought, and I never talked to Shizuku-san again that day. The next morning, oh, I'm so sleepy because I was studying until late last night. Huh? That's Shizuku-san? I was walking to school when I saw Shizuku-san on the street near my house. Shizuku-san was looking around her with an anxious face. What, what is she, is she doing, doing there? there? Maybe, Maybe she doesn't, she doesn't know, know the, the way, way to school. To school. She came to our school the day before. It wasn't surprising if she didn't remember her way to school. I, I think, think I should, I should try, try and help, and help her. her. Even if she didn't like me, I wasn't sure if any other students from our school would see her here and help her. I gathered up my courage and walked up to her. Morning, Shizuku-san. <gasps> morning. Are you lost? What? Oh, y y yeah. Shizuku-san looked surprised for a moment. She then blushed and looked away. Maybe, Maybe she's, she's embarrassed, embarrassed about, about the fact, the fact that, she that she was lost. lost. Do you want to come with me? You might not like the idea, but... Y yeah, I guess I have no other choice. <laughs> I, I guess, guess she's, she's one, one of those, of those arrogant, arrogant girls. girls. I didn't want to make her mad, so I didn't say it aloud. I started walking in silence. Shizuku-san walked beside me. That, that being, being said, said this, this is, is very, very awkward. awkward. A little past since we started walking, but we didn't talk to each other at all. Um, is, is there, there anything, anything that, that we can we talk, talk about? about? Do you think you'll get along with the classmates? Please tell me if you need any help. Thank you very much, but I'm fine without your help. Well, yeah. Shizuku-san became the popular girl from the day one, unlike me. Everyone was willing to help her if she was in trouble. We didn't talk much after that, and we eventually reached the gate of the school. That was when Shizuku-san murmured. We came to school together. We're in the same class, and I'm sitting next to him. No way! Huh? You hate me that much? Shizuku-san ran off with a red face, and I dropped my shoulders and disappeared. The next morning, she's, she's lost, lost again? again? When I was walking to school, I found Shizuku-san restlessly looking around her again. I, I guess, guess I have, I have no, no choice. choice. I, should I should walk, walk to, school to school with her, with her again. again. Morning, Shizuku-san. Do you want to come with me again? If you don't mind? I'm feeling kind of lonely. I if that's the case, I guess I have to. <laughs> Let's go then. But wait, your bed hair is really horrible. Don't move. Huh? Shizuku-san took a hair wax out of her bag and started fixing my hair. I didn't know what to do. I can't concentrate in classes if a guy next to me had a hair like that. Oh, right, I see. But Shizuku-san Shizuku -san is kind of cute. cute. Shizuku-san was blushing as if she was embarrassed, but she was also very caring. She acts, she acts like, like she's, she's unfriendly, unfriendly but, but she's, she's a good, a good person. person. Hey, why are you laughing? Sorry, sorry. I thought you were cute. W what? Shut up. Let's go now. Y yeah. The next morning, Shizuku-san was standing in the exact spot again. She, she still, still can't, can't remember, remember the way. way. I can't believe her, but I greeted her anyways. Shizuku-san casually started walking next to me. Ren, you're still amazing at studying. 
I heard that you're the top seed. That's great. They told me that you're going to Tokyo University. I don't think I can make it. Oh, that's not true. You are really smart too, Shizuku san. If you want to go there, you should at least give it a shot. Do you think so? Yeah. Also, if you aimed for the highest ranking university, and if you wanted to change your goal to the lower one, it would be much easier than the other way around. I see. I didn't think that way. You're smart, Ren. Then, can you tutor me? I want to try my best and aim for Tokyo University. It's fine by me, but where at? At school? It's embarrassing to study at school. Tutor me at your house after school. At my house? I don't want you to come to my house because I don't want to show you my room. So that leaves your house. If that's okay, I'm coming to your house today after school. Oh, okay. I couldn't say no in the end because Shizuku-san was very enthusiastic about it. After school. And she is really here. I was still in shock, but I took her to my room. Oh, so this is your room. It's much cleaner than I expected. But don't look around. I'm kind of embarrassed. But this is the first time I've seen a boy's room. Really? I thought, I thought she was, she was used, used to this. I thought, and it seems like she knew what I was thinking. Shizuku-san became grumpy and came up to me. Hey, you thought I was a player? N no, I thought you were used to a situation like this just because you were very attractive. That's a poor excuse. Y you think so? Anyways, shall we start? Here, sit down, let's start. You're brushing me off. Oh well, I guess we should start studying. Shizuku-san sat on the floor and opened her textbook. I sighed in relief. I then sat across her and opened my study aid book. Just ask me if you don't get anything. Okay. We concentrated on studying after that. Occasionally, Shizuku-san asked me a question and I answered. An hour passed in a flash. Shall we take a break? Yeah, my legs are tired because I've been sitting all this time. Now... <gasps> Watch out! Shizuku-san tried to stand up and failed. She was about to fall. I reached out to her and Shizuku-san fell on my top of me when I realized. S sorry, I pulled your hand too hard. Wait, huh? My eyes were closed because I was preparing for the impact. But when I opened them, I saw Shizuku-san's face in front of me. Shizuku-san's skirt was a mess and her soft boobs were touching me. Th this is bad. I had to do something about this position because it was stimulating my instincts. That moment... Ren... Hmm? W what's happening? Shizuku-san's beautiful face was so close that it was blurred. Her eyes were closed. And something soft had touched my lips. W why why is Shizuku-san Shizuku kissing me? me? Our lips parted while I was still in panic. W w what did you do? I kissed you. But right, but why? What do you mean, why? I saw a crush's face in front of me, so I kissed him. W what? I shouted. She was acting as if nothing happened, but I couldn't believe her words. You have a crush on me? Why? You only came to our school a few days ago. I shouted again, and Shizuku-san didn't look very happy about it. So, you don't remember? What do you mean? I've met you before. What? Where? In primary school. We went to the same school. We were in the same class when we were in third or fourth grade. You're joking me. I'm sorry, I don't remember. I don't blame you. I went as a blonde like this back then. I was a black bob. A black bob? Oh, that girl. You remember now? Yeah, I remember her. But how is that a reason to kiss me? I had a crush on you since then. You were very smart and you were good at sports too. But I didn't have a courage to ask you out. So I put a chocolate in your shoe rack on Valentine's Day. That reminds me. There was a chocolate every year, but I didn't know who it was from because it didn't have a name. That was you? Yeah. 
and all the boys around you thought it was creepy. They told you to throw it away. Yeah. But you smile saying that you wanted to keep it because you were happy that someone liked you. You said that you wanted to cherish the fact that someone made it for you. That was the moment when I completely fell for you. But I had to transfer after that. So you had a crush on me since then? What about when you were in junior high? I didn't meet anyone who was better than you. So I couldn't forget you. But I transferred again and you were there. I thought we were destined for each other. M maybe? We are. Hey, Ren. There aren't much devoted girls out there like me. So be my boyfriend. What? This all sounds like a dream. Shizuku-san looked into my surprised face and smiled like she was so happy. Hey, Ryota! You look super worn out as usual. That's such a horrible way to describe a person. My childhood friend, Kaori Takamatsu, was drinking next to me while I had my shoulders drooped. She had always been beautiful, and she was living a happy life, unlike me, an introvert since birth. She, she spends, spends time, time with me, only because, because I'm her childhood friend. friend. Or maybe, she's, she's just, just here, here to make, make fun, fun of me. me. But, she was the only one who would hang out with me like this. So, I valued her so much. Ryota, how's the work? It's okay. Did you get a girlfriend? Do you think I can make one? Haha, <laughs> good to know you haven't changed. Kaori laughed and I stared at her. What about you? Any boyfriend? Hmm, well, I'm doing alright in that department. Kaori smiled. That moment, I decided not to ask her about this anymore. I knew this was a losing game for me. She's, She's probably, probably having, having fun, fun with, with multiple, multiple guys. guys. I wonder what it's like to be as popular as you. Oh, I take that as a compliment. I guess you're used to taking sarcasms too. She didn't even flinch at what I said. I was slightly jealous of her. That being said? After that, we kept on having small talks. She, she always, always makes, makes fun, fun of me. Of me. But, but I enjoy being, being with her. her. I wondered about the future, where Kaori was getting married to someone else. Wait, Wait so, so if Kaori gets, gets married, married, I don't I think, think I have any other friends to hang out with. with. That's sad. That was why I seriously started to think about my own future marriage. Weeks later, the president called me to his office. Now, what can I do for you today? Ah, please relax. It's not work related. Oh, what is it? I know you're great at your job, but I heard that you don't have a girlfriend at all. I might be crossing the line, but I set up a matchmaking meeting for you. Huh? She's the daughter of a company. I think you'll do better at work if you have someone you have to protect. I really want you to manage our branch in the future, so you should consider getting married. Oh, okay. I was confused. But I had to leave the office since the president told me that the talk was over. Wait, so I'm going to a matchmaking meeting with the daughter of the A company's president? I couldn't even keep up with the reality. The day of matchmaking came quickly. I went to a luxurious restaurant that I have never been before while being so nervous. Shizuku Sasaki, the daughter of the A company's president, was already inside. I'm sorry that I'm late. No, I was too early. Please don't worry about it. Shizuku-san gently smiled. She looked really kind. And as I expected, she was very gentle and pure. The tempo of the conversation was very similar to mine. I feel safe being with you, Shizuku-san. <laughs> Thank you. I feel relaxed when I'm with you too, Ryota-san. I really want to go out with you with a marriage in mind. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, of course. Shizuku-san looked like she was passive, but in fact, she was very aggressive at heart. Soon after the meeting, I was living with Shizuku-san. I, I, I don't, don't feel, feel like, like I'm at home. home. 
Shizuku-san was wandering around the house, wearing minimal clothing. Kaori was, was the only girl, girl who I spent time, time with, with. So, so I don't know what, what to do. do. I was completely rigged with nervousness. Shizuku-san laughed at me. <laughs> you are so cute. Being so nervous. I guess we can't take a bath together like this. She whispered into my ears, like she was making fun of me. My entire body felt like it was on fire. The next day, we were walking to the bus stop together. I wish if our bus went to the same destination so we could stay together longer. T True. Shizuku-san had her arm twisted around mine. Her body pushed against mine. I was embarrassed because we totally looked like a newly dating couple. That moment... Yota? Kaori? I saw Kaori walking towards us from the crowd. Huh? What the hell is this? Wait, is this like a walk of shame? You had a person to do such thing with. What? What the hell are you talking about? This is... I was trying to explain, but Kaori seemed to have sucked into her own imagination. A beautiful girl like her can't be in a relationship with Ryota. So, Ryota paid her? Ryota? How much did you pay for her? If you wanted to spend the night with someone, you should tell me. Hey, wait, stop. Huh? What, what did, did she, she just say? say? Is, Is she, she saying, saying that, that she was, was willing to spend the night, night with me? me? We both stared into each other. Our faces turned red at the same time. Hey, Ryota-san, who is this? Oh, oh, sorry. I was pulled back to the reality with Shizuku-san's voice, and I introduced her to Kaori. This is Kaori, my childhood friend. Kaori, this is my fiancé, Shizuku-san. She is the daughter of A Company's president. And I got to meet her because of my president. Huh? The fiancé? Kaori was staring at Shizuku-san in disbelief. She stopped panicking, but she was dead silent this time, to the point it scared me. Fiancé? A beauty like her? And she's the president's daughter? I... I don't have any chance against her. Huh? Hey, Kaori! Kaori looked like she was on the verge of tears. And she immediately ran away. What, what the, the hell, hell is wrong with her? her? She, she didn't even greet Shizuku-san. She's, She's so, so rude. rude. I thought so for a second, but Kaori's sad face was stuck inside my brain. Why, Why did, did she, she make, make such, such a, a face? face? Why? Since then, I couldn't stop thinking about Kaori for some reason. I kept thinking about her, even when I was at home. San? Ryota san Oh. Sorry, what was it? I looked up in a hurry to see Shizuku-san looking into my face, looking worried. You seem to space out a lot these days. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's because my work is really busy recently. I'm gonna go to sleep now. I quickly ran into the bedroom. I was wondering why I tried to run away from Shizuku-san. Why do I feel this way? Why do I keep thinking about Kaori? More than Shizuku-san. That, that moment, moment I, realized I realized that I was subconsciously comparing Kaori to Shizuku-san. I was never nervous like this when I was with Kaori. I always had fun every day. I was always happy. I really want to see Kaori smile. That was when I realized my true feelings for Kaori. I like Kaori's smile. I always like Kaori. I acknowledged my feelings as my mind was getting clearer. The next day, I told everything to Shizuku-san. I asked her to call the engagement off. I'm sorry for being so selfish. I see. Shizuku-san tilted her brows in sadness as I apologized to her. Kaori-san is your childhood friend, right? Ah, uh, I wish I was your childhood friend. But I guess I can't do anything about it. Kaori-san has spent more time with you than me. I'll give you up this time. Thank you. I'm really sorry. I bowed again, and Shizuku-san smiled at me, saying I shouldn't worry too much. I went to work and explained everything to the president, too. Are you serious? You dumped that perfect girl? I can't leave our branch to you anymore. Yes, 
I'm sorry, but I cannot lie to myself. And Kaori, the girl who I love, has always been on my side. Even if I was being all sulky, she was always with me, supporting with me. I hurt her because it took so long for me to realize this. But I want to support her instead from now on. That's my wish. Yana Gita Kun. The president was staring at me in awe, and I realized what I had done. I. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be raising my voice like that. No, your passion got me. You are a guy who could choose what you truly value over money or authority. Yana Gita Kun, you are a great employee who I can trust. Please keep working hard for our company. Yeah, yes, sir. The president seemed to have understood me. Now, I have to tell Kaori, too. I, I couldn't could imagine, imagine what was going, going to happen, happen but, but I, I want, want to tell Kaori about, about my feelings. I sent her a message saying I wanted to see her that night. What do you need from me? When I was waiting for Kaori at a park, Kaori came, but her expression was very stiff. I ran towards her and stood in front of her. I have something important to tell you. What now? You have a beautiful and rich fiancé. I don't think I have anything to tell me anymore. She looked away and said, looking all grumpy. I grabbed her shoulders to turn her around again and told her, I canceled the engagement. Huh? You, you canceled it? Yeah, I broke up with Shizuku-san. Well, why? Kaori started panicking after taking all the information in. You would be able to meet a beautiful girl like her again. You could've gotten all the prestige by marrying her. What the hell are you doing? I don't need money or authority. Even if I had nothing, I wanted to be with you. Ryota? Kaori looked at me surprised. You were the only one who I could be with while being myself. You were the only one who made me feel truly happy every day. I went to the matchmaking meeting because I was worried about being alone when you got married. But I thought that way because I liked you. I know that now. You are joking me. I'm not. I like you. You're the only one I love. I declared so at the top of my lungs and Kaori started to cry. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, Ryota. I was about to cry seeing her tears. Kaori, please, go out with me. Of course. Please take care of me. Kaori smiled as she cried. She was more beautiful than any gems that existed on this earth. 